Jesus, how'd it go, dude? Oh, it went good. I thought I was failing, to be honest, until I click uh, the finish button and then congratulations and all good, but tricky, yeah? Like, you never feel super confident or sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I hit above target on the three categories there, so I did very well. Like, I do have some insight that maybe I want to share with the team here. One of the things, and as you guys mentioned before as well, like, there is it's heavy on Agile. I would say 80% of the questions were either agile based or it was an agile environment to make a decision on people but the environment was agile you know what i mean heavy on agile then uh, as a tip uh, to the team here like all your tips about how pmi thinks that helps yeah. a lot to do the 50 50 because in in almost every question they give you an option to go to the sponsor and there's only two two times where we go to the sponsor and it's very rarely so in most cases that's already a cross out that helps you get to the 50 50 and the other one that is also given in many options which we also cross out all the time is uh, like getting rid like firing someone or replacing a team member and stuff like that like you as a pm gotta work with what you have and train your team develop your team and not just replace and get a, an a team right so yeah. that helps you a lot on getting to your 50 50 and uh during the, the wednesday sessions i never really got to the 50 50 i always went to my answer without following your advice about the 50 50 guys and at the exam that, that that hit me like you do need to do your 50 50 because okay. or else you're gonna find yourself reading and reading and rereading the question and the answers many times so doing the 50 50 already gets you to focus on two lines as opposed to four or everything you know i found out like halfway into the exam where i was looking at the time and it was getting very tight yeah so i started doing my 50 50 more more efficiently there and even using the highlighting option in the exam and stuff like that. There was no EVM questions, not even one, yep. uh, at least in my exam. So, yeah. And um, the other thing is I've been taking project management training, not the preparation for the exam, but actually PM training from the PM book. And I was also always tempted to actually go and grab the book and study mm -hmm. from there. And it, there's really no need whatsoever. Like, what the material you guys show here, that's all you need, basically. Like, they don't go as deep. I think uh, if, if you take the training here and the Wednesday sessions I think that's as the most you can do and lastly I would take the exam if I was if I could do it again I would take it the day after my master classes like I wouldn't have waited a month or two because I I, I was never more prepared than just coming fresh from the from the classes that is awesome man so uh did you take it at a location or online I took it at a location and for those that are in Calgary don't go to my location I, I had to take it at the Northeast facility because it was the, the sooner. The other ones were fully booked until like two months from now. And um, the the isolation, the audio isolation was terrible. I think there is a mosque or something next door. And I could hear people singing and praying through my mufflers. Like it was it was ridiculous. Yeah. Like, they were praying for you, hey, dude. Uh -huh. Yeah. They well, maybe, maybe that, I needed all that help. So maybe that yeah. helped. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it, I mean, it, it's hard to focus, right? Like, all I could think was those cantics. So, uh, hey, Zeus, no, if, uh, I, if I may, but just, yeah, just man, yeah, yeah, anyway, dude, you know better than so, I. Uh, so, hey, Zeus, you, you were nine weeks start to finish, four weeks of classes with me, five weeks of, of Wednesdays and, and work in the simulator. You were very, very consistent throughout um and um and, and you you followed the process you trusted the process and and you're saying you reckon you could have crushed it um sooner yeah. do you agree uh that memorization would not have helped you at all for the exam not at all i didn't memorize anything and i didn't grab a book after finishing the classes and waiting for my exam i never even grabbed my notes or re revisited all your your present like slides i didn't do any of that like i just went with what i got from the classes and and i crushed it yeah even right. though as i said i thought i was failing it but no i mean it yeah. seemed that i knew what i was doing so thank you we guys have, we have 24 people here tonight from mount royal who are uh, where you were nine weeks ago they've either just completed their first hard questions or they're about to complete their first hard questions uh what's the number one tip you would you would give to them well i mean you already paid that money you don't want to miss these sessions like these Wednesday sessions, in my opinion, I mean, I think it's half or 60% of the training. Like, you don't want to miss them. So, yeah. Thank you, man. Congratulations. Awesome, man. All right. Thank you, guys. That's great. Uh, Jesus, hang on. We really, really appreciate it. You did a great job. We're going to bring both of you on at the end and uh, and ask questions together. We're going to bring on Darian real quick. Darian, uh, you're not. Uh, it's right. really hot where you live, dude. Um so you just passed. How do you feel, man? Like a huge uh, albatross has been removed from my neck. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, awesome. Yeah, so tell us a little bit, like, you came, how long have you been doing this? Like, 
Why did you <clears> want to get <throat> to begin with? Well, I come from a different environment, so it took me a long time to do it. It's taken me off and on for like a year because as soon as I signed up and went to the classes, my work schedule increased. So many times I work overnights and I work 60 plus hours a week. So it was really tough trying to find the time to buckle down. So in these last couple of months, I really started to steal time from other things and buckle down more. But um, like Jesus, I still felt like I was gonna, I thought I was gonna fail. The, when they told me that I passed, it was, uh, I was, it was a huge surprise. Cause I didn't think I'd done very well, but I actually, I got above target on all three uh, categories. It's awesome, dude. It's natural, I think for a lot of people to, Especially when it, it means a lot and you put a lot of focus in it and stuff like we often like, I don't know if it's looked down on ourselves or feel like imposters or whatever, but it's natural to feel like I'm not ready. And so as you went through it, you had no agile experience before. Is that correct? Uh, no, no. I've been in transportation. <clears throat> and um, like I was telling uh, Charles, one of the coaches recently, I was on a job site and I'll make it very brief. I was on a job site lo a long time ago and there were certain things about my job that always frustrated me to, to no end. And one day I talked to a uh, one of the one of the site managers who helped me out uh, with a different challenge that we had. And he said, oh, you know what? He said, you're expecting too much out of these guys because they don't think they <laughs> they, th they can't think further than their shovel, you know, mm -hmm. whereas not everybody's going to think throughout the entire process of the job and how everything complements one another and works together. And right mm -hmm. then when he said that, I thought, OK, I get frustrated with a lot of people, but really not everybody's inclined to want to think that way. I tend to think so. I, it, it made me want to explore other options and see other things that I can do in life. And that led me to you. Awesome, dude. So as you think through like the learning process, like what helped a lot for you? Jesus, or Jesus talked about the, the, the hard question calls. What helped for you? Like diving into the videos, like what helped things come together? Accountability calls, like what worked for you, dude? You know, I, the methodologies work really well. The videos work well, but the coaching calls were, 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 uh, colossal because when I first started doing it, I have to admit, I wasn't, I didn't really stick to the coaching calls as much as I should have because uh, of my time constraints. So finally, when I buckled down and stuck to them, I realized it zeroes in on the things that we need to know. And also you methodically go through the questions. So today when I took the test, a lot of the questions made absolutely no sense to me, but I'll be honest with you, the, <clears throat> with the answers, there were many where there were four different answers and really three of them were uh, many of them encourage you to take decisive action without gathering all the information. The, um, the, the relative content of the question wasn't even there. They just encourage you, fire, like hey, hey, Sue said, fire somebody, escalate to the sponsor, or um, focus on a procedure without doing any type of analysis when, they, when the question didn't mm -hmm. even state what the nature of the problem was in the first place. So a lot of those questions, even if I didn't, even if I didn't look at the question, Many of the answers, just by looking at the, uh, just by looking at the answers, I could pick out one or two that were more pinboxy. So that that's helped awesome. us a lot. I, I, that's really, really great. And so um, for anybody out there that's like a couple, you know, they just started, they're getting into it. What would be your advice for them? How do they stay on the street and narrow? How do they expedite this thing in a good way? I would, I would encourage them to just try to absorb into the process, you know, okay. make yourself a part of every scenario. So then you get to because I didn't realize that when I took the test, one of the reasons why you think you're going to fail is because you don't feel like some uh, uh, some great depth of knowledge was dumped on you overnight. You really do the work and then you start to absorb it in and you start to think through the processes naturally. So okay. um, I would encourage everybody to do that. Show up for all of your all of your coaching calls, you know. Um, and don't put too much pressure on yourself. I put a lot of pressure on myself. You know, don't do that. You're going to do it a little bit naturally. But the process works. Follow the process, you know, um, just follow the process. Do the seven day accelerator, um, do the um, do the coaching calls and just really ha have confidence that, OK, I get this. Even if you don't get all the questions right on all the coaching calls, you're still absorbing a lot of data that you're going to be able to use when it's time to take the exam. That's awesome. So I got you dual screen. Hey, Susan, Darian, you guys have never met before, I don't think, but. Let's open up the calls or questions uh, for, you know, people out there in the field. Like what kind of good questions you got for these guys? I have a quick question, I guess. Yes, oh, congrats on passing. That's huge. Um, Thank you. Like, how do you handle the pressure? Because I know it's like a super long exam and you have like, I think they said what, a minute and 12 seconds or a minute and 10 seconds for each question. <laughs> I'm I'm a person who tends to like I try not to but I tend to spiral like if I don't know one answer I'll be like okay I gotta rush the next one next one next one and then I could like already feel my heart start to beat like how do you kind of prepare yourself for that moment like okay I don't know it but I'm just gonna move on I know I only have a minute and ten seconds like how was that mentality how did that go for you? Ooh. Um, 
you can I start Darian and then yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead yeah okay <laughs> so um, in in my case um, to be honest I was super nervous up until the morning of the exam once I sat down and studied the exam I changed my mind and said okay this is it I cannot do anything more to prepare myself like I'm here if I fail it I guess I'll have to take it again you know what I mean like I'll just go back to my Wednesday calls and and re prepare myself to do it. you know what I mean like at least I'm going to learn tricks and, and something from the experience so I kind of try to detach myself from the obsession about passing it and uh, that's number one number two is I didn't have a chance to do the test the practice practice exams so I knew about the one minute 10 seconds one minute 15 seconds per question but Man, it goes by a lot faster than you think. In a lot yeah. of occasions, you find yourself reading the question, just the question, like four times. And then each of the answers, like six times. Like, there's no time for that. So I just found myself doing that and automatically switched my mind and said, hey, you know what? I'm going to pick one, flag it. There is a flag over there. Highlight my 50-50 just so that if I revisit it, I know where to start as opposed to going to the four questions or the four options, sorry. But uh you just got to keep going. Like, it's better to, to get all the next questions right than struggling on the one. You know what I mean? Like, and there are some questions that I think are for practice or something. Like, yeah. it's like a, a table on the left-hand side, table on the right-hand side. You have to mix and match things. Like, those questions take a long time. So I just didn't put too, put too much effort on those because it's just one question, you know? Like, I'd rather have three rights than spending five minutes in the one question, yeah? So uh, I, I would like to share with her also too. just believe in yourself and the hard work that you put in, because I can tell you, I, I got way behind. Um, I think I don't even know. I think I spent uh, almost I, I spent maybe 90 hours. I was on question 90 minutes. Excuse me. I was on question number 30 and I didn't think that I was going to finish. And my whole goal was after that, my whole goal began became to simply finish. But what I started to realize is I started to my my process started to morph a little bit. It started to slow down a little bit and I started to catch up. And then you're going to have questions that are just one line questions. And so if you do get behind, don't panic because those one line questions that are very cut and dry, they're going to come. So you might be able to get, you know, two or three questions in one minute or maybe even more. So just whatever you do, just judge yourself before the test is over. Believe in yourself and just know that there's going to be some tough questions that are going to throw you back a little bit. It just so happened that the first section of the test was extremely difficult for me. So I was way behind, but then there were blocks of the test that were extremely easy. So I jumped right back ahead. So no matter what you do, please don't doubt yourself or thinking, you know, I'm not going to finish. Just methodically work through the process, do the things that you were taught. And, and, and you're going to do well. And after 60 questions, you're going to have 10 minute break, whether you want it or not, kind of. So if you want to think about your process and what you're doing and the time and all that, do that math there in the break. Don't don't interrupt your, you know, your block of questions by, you know, second guessing you. How good, like, dude, like, uh, it felt like I'm talking to the instructors, like these two guys, like, this is pretty nice, man. Uh, so, so let's add another uh, question. One more question. We go. Go in there. Who else has got one for him? Yeah. Uh, anybody else got a question? Um, Darian, how were your practice exam scores? <laughs> did, did Scott tell you to ask me that? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> they were horrible. That was yeah. what discouraged me. A lot of the practice exams, I wanted to get, I heard from guys that would get 70% in the, uh, the accelerated exams. And I did terrible in those. I think this weekend I took some and I got... One, I got into the high 60s, another the low 60s. And so I buckled down. I said, okay, I'm, I'm going to get, that was my goal to get into 70% as a benchmark for when I might be ready. After I said that, I got a 53%. And I was extremely frustrated. I think I texted Scott more than yeah. once. He's told me, you know, back away from the accelerator exams, but I, that took away a lot of my confidence. And so I can just tell you that the accelerator exa exams, they make everything uh, on, on, on um, the process through Scott. He makes everything way harder. He makes it way harder so that your knowledge will expand, you know, throughout, throughout all the process. But then once you start to take the test, then it's more narrow. The focus is more narrow and the options are not as broad when you take the real test. So as long as you continue to focus on the methodology, focus on the process, be consistent, you're going to learn way more than say you would learn somewhere else because you're going to be ready. Even if you think you're not ready, you're going to be ready. You're going to be doing that muscle memory throughout the whole process. So awesome. the, the quizzes are good, but don't don't hang your hat on. Them. Yeah, and we got totally new simulator coming out in time. It's going to be awesome. I uh, just got to follow the roadmap. But you guys did both did amazing. Hey, there you go. Uh, so, <laughs> all right, celebration has started. 
All right, guys. We appreciate it. You guys right. did fantastically. We'll stay connected. We'll help you out. Uh, Jesus and Darian, this won't be the last time. We thanks a lot. See you soon. Cheers. Hey, Have man. a good one. Enjoy. Wish your everybody training. success. You guys are all going to do great. Hey, thanks, uh, Scott and Matt. Right. Yes, sir. I'll call you tomorrow, guys. Or, or thanks, Darian. everyone. Bye-bye. Right. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome.